The Georgia Farm Bureau held its 2012 leadership conference with the theme, Let It Grow, recently. Those who attended gained a greater understanding of the kind of misinformation being spread by modern, well-funded anti-animal activist groups. Monitor's Rick Trepto has more. The large Farm Bureau turnout at the Macon Centriplex had keynote speaker Betty Wolanick, the chief operating officer of Ag Literacy Works. She gave eye-opening proof anti-animal activists are expert communicators selling their untruths. Farm bureaus need to start telling their story and tell people that what these various activist groups and book authors are saying isn't true and that uh, farmers work diligently to provide excellent care for their animals and a safe and nutritious food supply. There is no shortage of sound science to support the proven fair and ethical treatment of farmers in animal agriculture. One either don't understand science or they'd rather ignore it. Uh, but. The agenda really is to have people eat no animal products or use no animal products. She added there are 21 intertwined groups. The activists want us to go back to the 1950s. The problem with that is in the 50s after World War II, uh, fully a third of the world's population was starving or malnourished. And today we have three and a half times the number of people. So if we went back to the way things were in the 50s, we would really be seeing a lot of starving people. The war chest for the activists is substantial, $820 million, much of it aimed at the schools and educational supplies. The Farm Bureau State Women's Committee put the event on. The 2012-2013 GFB featured commodity is soybeans, germinating a soybean seed for use in schools was demonstrated. Our women's committee focus on promoting agriculture anywhere and everywhere. We want everyone to be aware of the story of agriculture. We want people to know where their food comes from. We want people to know about farming and about the family farms. Georgia Farm Bureau State President Zippy Duvall and Linda Crumley presented a check to the Ronald McDonald House Charities of Central Georgia. The $10,000 was from the County Farm Bureaus during Food Checkout Week activities. Food is supplied to the families of children in the hospital. It's amazing to hear the stories um, from our families that have stayed with us saying, you don't know what it meant to walk in the door and that spread of food was there for you. And so we thank you for what you do in your entire state for the Ronald McDonald Houses. I'm Rick Trepto for the Georgia Farm Monitor.